Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, good to see you. Um, now we've had a couple of ITLs that uh, I hope gave you some ideas and some new insight. On the ITL with the drum loops, um, I failed to mention I rarely ever pile all of those things onto one loop. I just did that to be kind of a smart ass, but um, normally I would just use one or two of those techniques, excuse me, per loop as opposed to all 200 of them on one loop. Sometimes I, I'm thinking about the creative things so so deeply. Sometimes I forget the technical things, and so you might find a a little blip there, a little something here, a little thing there. I don't I don't really care about that stuff. I just care about uh, just that it sounds good and it's moving people and it's selling millions of records. And I can't tell you the number of times Drew and Jason and Manny and Dylan, all the guys that have worked with me, Andrew, have saved me because I've just overlooked some kind of technical thing. It's just something I'm not that interested in. But when I am interested in something technical, I'm totally immersed in it. And uh, I've recently come to um, spend a lot of time on the Sound on Sound website. It's an incredible website, tons of information. Uh, Paul Tingen's articles are really good. Mike Thornton's articles are really good. All the guys over there, credits, credit to them. They've, they've just got a tremendous, tremendous resource. And then I also like Tape Up, a lot of information there. Of course, the, uh, the Gold Standard Mix Magazine, a lot of information there. And then Pro Sound Web, um, our old buddy Michael Brower's over there, and our other old buddy Brad Blackwood's over there. A lot of great information. But anyway, uh, this is the page on Sound on Sound that caught my attention this week. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure why I went there, but it's, the title of the article is called Pro Tools Mastering Limiter Shootout. Uh, these plugins are available pretty much for any format, not just Pro Tools. So I thought I'd take um, their list, add a few more to it. So I got about 10 uh, mastering limiters I'm going to show you. I'm not trying to show you how. Um, uh, like, produce, like Bruce Wadeen says, there's nothing like a good dog in the studio. <laughs> Everybody, this is Moses. I don't know if you can see Moses. Dumb as a rock. I'm not, I'm not really showing you how to use each one of them. I'm just showing, showing, showing you an example of how I used them. We'll do five this week and five next week. We'll try to do the, um, the single band this week and multi-band in next week's ITLs. Uh, this is a song I just mixed for the Dream Record. Um, Pat Thrall, incredible engineer, producer, mixer in his own right, uh, did an incredible job on, on these tracks and I kind of finished up the mix and um, we're real proud of all of this. So here we go, let's jump in. Uh, our old standby, we'll start with L2. I'll just play a little piece of it just to give you a an idea of, of what we're doing. By the way, I, I recorded each one of these and, and analyzed the waveform. I don't, I don't mind a little squared off wave here and there in the track. So, but there's no major distortion, even though you're gonna see red, don't panic. Maybe some other time, but damn, I wish you were mine. Okay, that's L2, our old buddy. Uh, next, I'm going to show you Maxim. Um, to my way of thinking, this does okay. It's, 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 it wouldn't be my first choice, but good, uh, good all-around plug-in, maybe for an, uh, a, 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 an aux or a drum bus or something like that. This little histogram here I really like a lot. It, uh, um, I, wish, I wish all the plugins had that. I think I think it's very instructive, very usable. Okay, so this is with that. Maybe some other time, but damn, I wish you were mine. Okay, not bad. Okay, this is this is fast becoming a favorite of mine. This is Stephen Slate's plugin. 
FGX, I think he calls it. I got to tell you, I'm still learning this one, so uh, don't beat me up if I do something silly. And Stephen, please don't call me and say I did something wrong. I love this plugin. I'm just kind of learning it. It's just, it's it's um, it's got a lot of abilities to uh, alter what you're doing. Stephen, I saw Stephen demonstrate this at AES. He's a genius with it. Maybe some other time, but damn, I wish you were mine. A lot of controls on this. You get low end detail, and this, this thing is a beast. I, I, I really like it. I'm, st I'm still learning it, but uh, just because I don't know how to use it doesn't mean I don't use it. I <laughs> already had a few hits with it. Uh, this is the Oxford limiter. Uh, I don't, I don't I remember Dave Kutch's show, uh, The Mastering Engineer out of New York, uh, Alicia Keys. Go to the, I, I think I told you, go to the Sonox, uh, however you pronounce it, website. Look up Dave's um, face on their website, and he, he posted some screenshots of his favorite settings. This is uh, not one of them. This is one I kind of modified myself. Maybe some other time, but damn, I wish you were mine. Got to tell you, this is... This one's quickly becoming a favorite of mine. I, 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 I got a little involved with it after Dave mentioned it on the show, and I copied three of his presets off, his, off the Sonox website, and I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable with this guy. Okay, this, this plug-in, um, um, I tossed it in because I'm not really sure what it does, but I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe some other time, but damn, I wish you were mine. I, I, I wish you were mine. A lot, of, a lot of controls on this. Okay, what I like, guys, the um, the L2 is my bread and butter. Um, anything that I put across the stereo bus is going to have to knock L2 out of that spot. And it just doesn't happen very often. Um, on the on the single band uh, bus compressors, I love the Sonox. Uh, it gives me a, a, another color. The L2 is, gosh, just becoming part of modern sound. You know, Alex the Kid talked about it on the show. Uh, a lot of people talked about it on the show, and it's it's it's, it's it, it just works. Um, the isotope in conjunction with um, the uh, multi multi band dynamic uh, section that's a great combination hard to beat so it sounds pretty good sound quality on the Sonox is good obviously the the l two is incredible um, steven steven slate's plug in um, it's a beast it it sounds good it does what it needs to do um, you can get stuff so loud with that without altering or changing your original sound, which is kind of the concept behind these limiters. All right, okay, that's 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 uh, that's it for today. Uh, we we kind of flew by, so um, if you want me to go into detail, just hit me up on Facebook on Pensada's Place and, and let me know, and I'll spend some time and some detail on what you want me to. Now, next week we're going to go over the multiband compressors. They're the bad boys. They're the Ferraris of the of the bunch, and we got several of those for you. And those those are those are quickly and rapidly becoming my favorite things to put across the stereo bus. I mean, if one L2 is good, a hundred's better, right? So you got the L uh, three sixteen. You got the L multi L three multi multi. Man, I'll tell you next week what it is. It's, it's, it's four band or five band or something. It's becoming one of my favorites. All right, guys, see you next week.